Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today I would like to talk about the Chanel Classic Flat Bag. I would like to show you my collections of the medium, large, classic flat bags and the jumbo size. Um, if you are interested in looking at my mini rectangular Chanel bag, I have um, uploaded a video a few days ago and it showcased and comparison of the Chanel mini rectangulars on my collections. So today I would like to showcase the classic medium large Chanel flat bag and the classic jumbo. So this is the um, infamous classic flat bags from Chanel. The most popular one is the medium, which is this one. The medium large size. I have two of them. And this is in lambskin with the champagne gold hardware chevron. And this is the first Chanel classic flat bag that I purchased and this is in caviar leather with the silver I don't know if you can see that that's actually silver hardware and they're both in medium large size so the Chanel classic bag the flat bags comes in the small size the medium and large which is these two they actually combine the medium and large that's what um, I've been told that the size is actually medium and large they call it medium and large and the jumbo one which is in this box there is another one the maxi one which is the largest I don't actually have that with me but it's not very often that you can find a maxi one because it's really huge I assume that a lot of people use that for traveling or even uh, for maternity bag but the most popular one are the medium and large which is this one the jumbo and obviously the mini rectangular and the mini square size but Chanel do not consider that the classic bag even though they do re release it every year and the design is basically the same and I will show you later but um, let me just update you with the price Chanel has increased their prices um, in November 2019 that was two months ago so I'm just looking in the website at the moment and currently the Chanel small classic handbag it's retail let me just zoom the camera to this this is from the Chanel website official website the small classic flat bag it's retail for six thousand three hundred and fifty and that's the large one and this is the medium one which is the classic handbag they simply call it classic handbag which is retail for seven thousand one hundred and seventy five Canadian dollars they did not put a price but they simply say the classic handbag which is this size the popular one the medium and large the jumbo it's actually considered as the large on the website and that's retail for seven thousand nine hundred and fifty so these are all the prices from Chanel official website as you can see and this is the update the price after the November increase so as you can tell because um, I purchased my classic flat bag in medium size last year a year ago before the price increase and I purchased this for six thousand eight hundred and twenty five each so going back to the new price which is 7175 so there is a price increase of 350 Canadian dollars 
whereas the jumbo it's seven thousand nine hundred and fifty Canadian and I purchased my jumbo seven thousand six hundred dollars a year ago well less than a year ago so again there is a price increase of three hundred and fifty dollars Canadian for the jumbo I do not have the small classic handbag but I do remember it was retail for six thousand um, I believe a year ago so again the price increase it's six thousand three hundred and fifty now so all three has been increased to three hundred and fifty dollars Canadian so let's get into the most popular size the classic flat but the medium size this is in lambskin and that's in the gold hardware chevron this is in the caviar leather in Turkish well this is actually they call it I believe they call it the hot pink and this is Turkish color with the silver hardware and in caviar leather so I'm just gonna show you um, it has two holes on each side for the chain then there are no feet on the bottom so it's a flat and that's how it looks like on the side and there is a back pocket here for your essentials credit cards if you want to use that so this is the classic Chanel flat bag and um, the reasons why they call it a flat bag because that's it's obviously locked in there and you open it up and the classic it comes with a double flap the older style comes with one single flap but I believe they started introducing a double flap um, I think it, it was it has always been a double flap I'm not too sure but they don't do any more single flap at, um, at this time so that's the um, let me just show you that's what it looks like on the inside the reasons why I put the tissue here it's because of the strap that runs through here and also because of this zip I do not want to stain them as you can see there is a little bit of a stain mark here I'm not sure whether it's from the zip or from this but I put a tissue here just so that it does not um, make it worse Okay, let me just show you how it looks like on the inside and that's um, the classic flat it has a zip pocket here which is um, you can't actually put in a lot of things you might be able to just put in um, a very small like band aid um, the reasons why Coco Chanel put a zip here is I think because she was trying to hide some of her personal um, information or so some some of a personal some notes that she wrote and she was trying to hide it and that's one of the reasons why she created this zip pocket here um, there is a gap in between here that you can use but I don't advise people to use it simply because let me show you let me zoom in see how there is a, a one tiny stitch here which is um, I'll see if I can point it out to you okay there is one stitch here that stitch um, basically I don't know whether you can see it basically um, you might be able to see on this one let me just quickly show you see how there is one stitch here that stitch basically holds the flap together the two flaps so if you use a lot of um, if you actually use quite frequently this the gap here and if you put in items in this gap um, you might break the stitches on this as you can see it is very fragile so I don't advise people to actually use the back pocket here um, on the second flap 
but yes you can actually put um, something in there as well and um, let me show you the inside so the double C which is um, synonymous to Chanel and um, let me take that out I like to put um, the air filter for my handbags just to keep the structure this is made in France and um, that's what it looks on the inside they have two pockets here and there's a middle pocket for your lipstick and um, there is a front pocket here and I'm not sure if I can zoom in but they do have the serial number right here usually and um, yep yeah, it's right at the bottom here so this is the um, the medium classic Chanel bag and let me just show you the mini rectangular so that you can compare the sizes okay I'm just gonna put that in okay this is the one of my mini rectangular it is in a very light blue color it's a little bit uh, it's one or two shade darker than the Tiffany blue and it's in patent leather so in terms of the size can see that it's about an, an inch on each side it's smaller by about an inch on each side and in terms of the height it is just about that smaller but Chanel do not consider the mini rectangular as one of their classic range even though it looks very similar to it including the back pocket one of the major differences is the strap with the mini rectangular because you cannot do this as a cross body you can only use it as a shoulder bag let me show you this because i have this pulled all the way to one side see how the length of this strap it's not enough to do a cross body unlike the mini rectangular which you can use it as a cross body so it's not enough to do as a cross body but you can do it you can double the strap to make it shorter okay let's go back to the um, jumbo I haven't taken it out but this is not an actual unboxing because I have used this bag the reasons why I haven't taken it out yet because I want to show you how the Chanel packaging is if you purchase the classic bag it comes in this black box and it comes with the white camellia this one was the holiday packaging i i have one extra so i just put it here so um, it this is just basically something that doesn't come with it um, it is seasonal so the classic bag itself the packaging it's very different from other handbags non-classic bag so you can see the packaging is black they, they use the black paper the sticker is slightly diff it's different as well and when you open you, the dust bag itself it's different from other Chanel non-classic handbag this dust bag it's only exclusive for the classic Chanel bag there is a Chanel logo here and we have the Coco Chanel picture and the Karl Lagerfeld signature on it and this is my jumbo 
plastic flat and I would like to take it out and compare all three sizes for you to have a look my jumbo well the Chanel um, they actually call this large on their official website but it is well known as the jumbo size let me just take it out so the box itself comes with going to show you the box itself comes with the um, the gloss it's in here and that's the re authenticity card that's my Chanel boutique receive and the classic bag comes with this um, booklet that basically show you how it was being made so this is the standard packaging if you purchase the Chanel classic flat bag so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna compare the three sizes let me just make some space so we have the jumbo size which is this one I purchased the black classic caviar in gold hardware and it has the back pocket um, one thing about the strap it is actually long the strap it's very long you can do a crossbody for the jumbo size but I just want to show you with the classic flap in black the inside of it it's always gonna be this burgundy color so this is the inside of the black classic flat back Chanel you will see the double C, but the color, it's always going to be burgundy. <clears throat> Other than that, it is pretty much the same. But that is the only difference if you purchase it in black. And um, let me just show you the size comparison. In terms of of all three size so this is the mini rectangular some actually say you can fit in the pretty much the same amount of items with the mini rectangular and the smaller classic flap which is smaller than this but I don't have the smaller ones so I can't actually confirm that and this is the jumbo so the size differences from the jumbo to the medium and this is the mini rectangular I don't have the small size there is another size in between those two and there is one more size after this which is the maxi size I don't actually have that and I also want to point out to you as well that Chanel actually releases their classic back initially with let me show you this this lock which is um they call it reissue now but this is actually how chanel classic flat bag was first released with this lock i have purchased this from the pre-love market this is the jumbo size which is the same size as this however it's in patent it's in patent leather 
and um, I've got a good deal I purchased this um, over a year ago and I have got a good deal for this um, but this is what they call it the reissue now simply because it was first launched with this kind of lock and it was designed by Coco Chanel and the chain itself when it was first launched decades ago by Coco Chanel the chain itself is like that so those two are the differences and when Karl Lagerfeld took over um, he designed a double C logo and the strap as well I'm pretty sure it was is designed but I know the fact that the double C was designed by Karl Lagerfeld and they brought back the older style and they simply call it the reissue so um, you might be able to purchase um, the older style from pre-love market if you're after the reissue um, if you're after the original ones but if you want a brand new one it is called reissue and it does come with the jumbo size the medium size and the small size for the reissue I haven't actually seen it in mini rectangular but I'm not sure whether it was ever released as a mini rectangular with that kind of lock so the second part of this video I would like to emphasize on the price of these classic flat bags and because of the price increase now it is getting harder and harder for people to actually purchase this especially uh, for someone that wants to purchase it as the first luxury bag but bear in mind that it is an investment bag because this classic style has been going on for decades it is a timeless design and it will never go out of style but however I do realize that if um, if someone wants to get into the luxury brand and um, it is difficult for them to purchase their first Chanel bag um, try to see if you can get into the mini rectangular one because the price point it is much lower it is 4250 Canadian dollars so the difference in the price difference it's actually quite substantially large it is 50% more than 50% um, more than 50% compared to the classic bag because the classic bag it starts from 6300 I believe 6350 whereas the mini rectangle it's 4250 so there is a huge difference of 2000 over um, if you can't get a mini rectangular because it's usually sold out the best alternative for you is to go into a different lower price point and there is a bag that I will actually recommend because it has a very similar style with the Chanel classic flat bag and it is the Gucci Mamond so this is my Gucci Mamon bag. The reasons why I say that it is a good alternative for the Chanel Classic flat bag is because if you look at the design itself, it is very similar in terms of the length. In fact, I'm going to put them... See how the length is the same? The width it's very similar and the design it goes narrower to the top which is the same as the classic flat and the height it is the same 
this is the Gucci Marmont in small size and it's retail for 2450 Canadian dollars I believe so it is basically one third of the price of this because this is retail uh, for seven thousand one hundred and seventy five so for a third of this price you can get this Gucci Marmon bag which is very similar in terms of style you see how it has a double G here and the Chanel classic has a double C and there is a lock here to open it up and if you look underneath here there is a lock to open it up as well you just need to push that lock and you can open it up and in terms of the top bits you see there are two holes on each side which is the same as the classic Chanel bag and they use the metal for this with the chain and um, the chain is slightly longer than the Chanel let me just show you it is slightly longer than the Chanel medium so the Marmont bag you can use this as a cross body see how it's actually longer so you can use this as a cross body bag and let me show you inside there is no double flap here and um, there is only one zip pocket here there is only one zip pocket and there is no double flap and there is no back pocket either but it comes in this cute heart shape at the back so in terms of alternative um, style which is a very similar style both um, the Gucci Marmon bag it's a very good alternative for someone that will want to purchase a similar style to the Chanel classic flat but cannot afford the high price range and I believe the Gucci Marmon bag has been around for a few years now and it's not going away anytime soon it is still a very popular bag so I will say that um, it is a very good alternative to the Chanel classic flap and you might be able to get it not the classic design like even the chevron here it's very similar to the Chanel chevron but you have double chevron here it comes in a different color and it also comes in the monogram I believe I'm not too sure if they still have it but I did saw the monogram style and if you are lucky you might be able to get it on discount at the Gucci outlet um, but those are the seasonal designed I don't believe this is considered a seasonal color I believe this is the classic color I don't think it will ever go on sale for this color and but the seasonal color or the seasonal material um, you might be able to find one or two at the Gucci outlet at a cheaper price okay one final thing is the material itself it is a very smooth material similar to the Chanel lambskin material so it is prone to scratches but it seems to be a little bit more durable compared to the Chanel lambskin so um, that is my recommendations and um, if you have any questions please comment on the comment sections below and um, thank you for watching